Hello, beloved projectors, manifestors, and reflectors. This is a video for all of the non-sacral beings uh, out there who may feel extra stressed during the holidays. So first of all, I really want to thank you for taking a few minutes of your time during this busy season to spend it watching this video. And the purpose of this video is to uh, give you some things that you can become aware of that may help you journey through this season in a more aware and awake way. And if you so choose, you can uh, use that awareness and that awakeness to deepen your personal growth journey. So there are a couple of things that non-sacral beings often feel during the holiday season. You feel it all the time, but because you do not have the defined sacral center, you will feel it even more during this time when you're maybe out shopping, out in crowds, around a lot more people perhaps than you normally are because of all of the uh, social activities, celebrations, and things that just come once a year. And they're really precious things. If you really embrace this season, there are some sacred and precious opportunities that only come at this time. And you wanna make sure that you are at your best so that you can be fully present and enjoy them. So the things I wanna talk about are the things that have to do with the undefined sacral center. So I bet you can guess the first one. The first stressful thing, the first thing that stresses out non-sacral beings and throws you into um, your not self. Can you guess it? Okay, it is doing stuff for people that they don't appreciate. <laughs> overdoing and if you remember your sacral center takes in that doing energy that work energy from the generators and manifesting generators around you those 70 percent of the people around you who um who have that energy and are radiating it their motors are going and you are you can sometimes benefit in short bursts from taking that energy in and you can get a whole lot done but there's no stopgap on an undefined or an open sacral center. So there's this tendency to not know when enough is enough. So when you're doing stuff, when you're overdoing for people, and you find that they don't appreciate it, projectors, what do you feel? You feel bitterness, you get bitter. Um, manifestors, you can get angry. You know, and for you, it's it's really more about getting angry because you're you don't have the freedom to do what it is you need to do to initiate the things that you need to initiate. And reflectors, because you're you're reflecting back everybody's stuff, right? And you've got this open or undefined sacral center. Uh, there can be this tendency to want to keep up and to. Um, you know, be with others in, in the way that you, you are reflecting how they are being. And this can stress you out, um, throw you into all kinds of condition patterns. So that's one thing, doing, overdoing. And then I guess that's two things, overdoing and doing stuff that people don't appreciate. Now let's talk about, we talked about the overdoing part. So let's talk about the why people don't appreciate. And it has nothing to do with them, believe it or not. You know, for the most part, you are uh, the one who is filtering your perceptions or reflecting your perceptions or projecting your perceptions out into your world about how that world treats you. So if you are finding that people don't appreciate what you're doing, look at your other undefined centers. So if you have the root center that is undefined, you may be feeling this pressure to rush through things to get a whole lot packed in there because you're amplifying other people's uh, stress and adrenaline pressure. So you're feeling that stress and pressure to get things done on steroids. Uh, and you could miss the moment. You could miss 
your moments of being in the moment to really truly see what's important and slow yourself down so that you can enjoy people and appreciate them in a deeper way. So that's, uh, that's one way if you have an undefined route. If you have an undefined emotional center, are you spending extra time trying to make people happy <laughs> at the expense of yourself? You know, this is another way that you can uh, get into that not self expression where you feel that bitterness, you feel that um, anger, you feel that um, disappointment, all of those things. Um, and then the big one for uh, doing stuff that people don't appreciate, that throws you into your not self-expression is uh, the will center. And uh, the will center is about proving your worth and value. So where do you still have work to do around that? Where, where does your unbridled um, amplifying sacral center push you into things where catapult you into things where you feel like you have to work extra hard to prove your worth and value and then at the end of the day no one appreciates it so what's the solution I want to encourage you to go back and um, deep dive relax into Pay attention to your strategy and your authority. So projectors, if there is nothing, no invitation, there is nothing for you to do. Um, manifestors, if there is, if you're not clear about what action to take, maybe you're emotional, you need to take your time, uh, you know, you don't have to do anything either. You're sacral. You are not a doing being until you do, right? Until you're clear about what you do, right? So what you need to do. So when that, when that clarity comes, don't hold yourself back. Just inform. And other people will get on board and they will appreciate you for that. And you won't have to work so hard on your own. And reflectors. Just take your time. You know, we've got some uh, powerful moon transits coming up this month. We've got the full moon coming up on the 12th of December. And, you know, you may be feeling those that pull from the full moon. You may be extra affected by the moon transits this month. So just take your time through that and pay attention to who you're reflecting and how... Uh, how your reflections of them can uh, give you insight into how everyone is doing around you. So if you're new to human design and you want to know a little bit more about your energy type, your strategy, your authority, I have a course called Discover Your Design. I will put a, a link down below so you can check it out. And if you want more personal assistance, with your design, with understanding how you can have less resistance in your life by living according to your design, I will put a link to my website so that you can check out my services. So have a wonderful, beautiful holiday season and until the next time we meet, be well.